Hi class. Uh, previously we started the polygons where we named <coughs> you know all the various type of <coughs> polygon according to the size. And um, we said the polygon is a I said the polygon is a plain figure with at least three straight lines, and the list of them is a triangle. And then we said four sided is <coughs> called a quadrilateral, fourth, a fifth, a five sided is called pentagon, ten sided is called decagon, and twelve sided is called dodecagon. And eleven side, we couldn't find a name, that's why we call it, we call it eleven gone. <coughs> And any higher number, we you know just put a number and put gone. And we also said we have two types of polygon: the regular ones and the irregular ones. The regular ones are the ones with uh, same sides and the same you know sides being congruent and angles being congruent. Like uh, the case of uh, square. Uh, in a square, the square is a four is a is a quadrilateral, and the sides are equal. The angles are each nine. Okay. So today we got just gonna find uh, how to find the measure of the interior angles also before we start as you can see the, we're going to divide each polygon into non-overlapping triangle so we're going to see the patterns you know we're going to form here <laughs> in the first place as you can see we have a pentagon as you can all see here we have the side is five and then how many triangles do we have here let's see <laughs> here if i join this side to this side this side to this side we have how many triangle one two three so this is going to be three triangles okay so <clears throat> Here again, how many? This one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sides. How many triangle? I'm gonna draw them. So I'm gonna join this, join this, join this, join this, join this. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six. So we have six triangles. Below here, this is how many sides we have four sides. Number of triangle, I'm gonna just there. Yeah, so one, two. So this one has two triangles. How many sides here? Yeah, if you can very well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So this is a dodecagon. <clears throat> and then how many triangles? I'm gonna draw them. One, two. This is ugly. Just bear with me. My bend is a little bit. Okay. 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 This, 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 and then this. So in terms of triangle, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we have ten triangles. Which means, as you can see, from five side we have three triangle. From eight side we have two uh, six triangle. From twelve we have ten triangle. From four side we have two triangle. So here each time you just need to take away two to be able to get this. Take away two to be able to get this. Minus two to get this. Minus two to get this. So if you know the side of a polygon. To so know the number of triangle we can form is just to remove two, you know, out of the number of sides, okay? So the angle that will be formed here, so the sum of interior angle here will just be 3 times 180. When you have a, a pentagon, uh, yeah, in this case here, so... In the pentagon, the number of angles just gonna be three times one eighty to know the number of you know the interior angles here. Uh, in the case of a square, 
the sum of angles here is just going to be 2 times 180 because we have two triangles here, okay? In the square. In the octagon, since uh, we have uh, six triangles, so we're going to multiply six by 180 to get the sum of interior angles. Here too, in the case of the, the, the decagon, since the number of triangles is 10, we're going to multiply 10 by 180 to get the sum of all angles. So in the pentagon, we're going to multiply 180 by 3 because the number of triangles is 3 to get the sum of all interior angles. So here we're going to just generalize something. The sum of the interior angle in a polygon is going to just be n minus 2 times 180. That means n minus 2 minus times 180. n stands for the number of uh, sides. And then you to get the sum of interior angles, just remove 2 from the number of sides and you multiply by 180. So n stands for number of sides. The poly okay, so here we just quickly gonna do some illustration. Illustration. So, what is the sum of the interior angles of a pentagon? So that would just be since a pentagon, we're gonna do pentagon means five. So it's gonna be five according to this formula. N is five minus two times one eighty. That will be five minus two is three. That's 180, which gives us 5 of 40 degrees. The other case, too, uh, in a DD carbon, uh, we have 12, so it's going to be 12 minus 2, close bracket, times 180. And we know 5 minus 2 to do what? 10. Then you multiply by 180. And the outcome is what? 1800. Then you put degree, okay? So the, the outcome is going to be 1,800 uh, degrees. And the other one, for heptagon, the number of angle is 7. The number of side is 7, so it's going to be 7 minus 2. Then times 180, which will be equal to so 7 minus 2 is 5. You multiply by 180. And then the outcome is 5 times 180. 900 degrees, so the number of 900 degrees. So pentagon is five side, decagon is the decagon is 12. Sorry, pentagon, uh, epta, heptagon is seven, and then octagon is eight. So it's going to be what. 8 minus 2 times 180. And we know 8 minus 2 to be 6 multiplied by 180. And the outcome is 135. Oh, 1080. And, but the question says, what is the measure of each interior angle? So the sum of interior angle is 180. And then what? And since uh, an octagon has six, uh, eight sides, so we're going to divide this same answer by, a, uh, by 8. And then the answer is going to be 
1080 divided by 8 135 the meaning each angle here it would be 135 degrees okay and then the last two problems here decagon is 10 then you're gonna have each interior angle but we're first of all gonna find the sum of all interior and uh, all in your interior angles so it's gonna be 10 minus 2 close bracket times 180 and which 10 minus 2 is uh, 8 8 times 180 8 times 180 is 1440 and then since in a decargo we have 10 sides so you're going to divide by 10 to find the each interior angle so each interior angle going to be 144 So yeah, each interior angle will be 144 degree in a decagon. The next problem, what is the measure of each, each angle of a reg, uh, regular triangle? So in a regular triangle, that's an isosceles triangle. So each angle will be 60. How do we find that? Since uh, this is three here, triangle means three-sided. So since it's a triangle, our N is three minus two. 10 times, times 180. 3 minus 3 is 1. Then we multiply by 180, which gives us 180. And then you divide by the number of sides. Since each side is, uh, we have three sides in a triangle, so 180 divided by 3 is 60. That's how I in each equilateral triangle you know in, a, in an equilateral triangle each side is 60 degree so thank you very much the homework is on google form and it enter it, it encompasses what we've learned previously and this and this one as well see you tomorrow thank you